the push on ESG uh, across the board uh, has been very powerful. Uh, I can't think of a CEO that we cover that isn't talking and thinking about it and finding ways to become more sustainable. Uh, one of the ways they're looking at that is a way they finance themselves and sustainable linked loans uh, is a way to transform a, a piece of bank financing to demonstrate their commitments to sustainability. Uh, a recent one we did uh, on Gibson Energy uh, is one where they've got commitments to reduce their stage one, stage two greenhouse gas emissions, uh, a commitment to change uh, and update their workforce, uh, and third, to change their, bo their board. And so both in the E, the S, and the G, uh, it's one of the first for an energy company uh, to make these kind of bold commitments for a better future. Yeah, we're seeing obviously ESG, I mean, just absolutely boom. We have talked to a number of other banks, some of your competitors about it. Their business is booming. It's interesting you mentioned Gibson Energy. How are energy companies, even oil and gas companies, obviously many of whom are under fire from shareholders to, to change and to evolve and try to become more sustainable. How are they using products like that to alter or adjust or change their fundamental business? I think we've seen a, a monumental change in the thought process around ESG in the last 12 months. Uh, we've gone from a thought process, this is a penalty system where you're gonna be punished if you don't do the right thing, to an incentive system where what people are seeing is a unique way to drive their business. And by looking at their business on a more sustainable basis or trying to reduce carbon uh, within their businesses, they're actually finding ways to innovate on how they run, actually expand their EBITDA margins and produce higher profits. And so I mm -hmm. think that's a huge shift from you know, 12 months ago to where we are today, where it's quite common uh, for a CEO to be looking at how yeah. this becomes a competitive advantage as they go forward. V very quickly, Dan, uh, how, how hot is the overall deal market right now? Uh, I was reminiscing with some of my, uh, my leaders in the last couple of days. I think it might be as hot as it's ever been in my career. And, you know, it spans 30 years wow. and we have amazing activity and, you know, it's all driven around confidence. Uh, people believe the world will be a better place 12 months from now, 24 months from now. And that spurs them to take risk and take action. Uh, they can grow organically. So invest uh, and expand or they can expand their EPS mm -hmm. by buy. And we're seeing lots of people uh, step up to take risk and grow their business. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.